Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout to share for Simple Stories. Um, I'm using the absolutely stunning Simple Vintage Lemon Twist collection. It is so beautiful. I think I particularly love it because it's yellow and I love yellow. I've always loved creating with yellow. It just reminds me of summer, sunshine, happiness, all of those things. Um, so uh, I was instantly drawn to this um, gingham. I love gingham as well. It's like my favorite print. Um, so um, I was instantly drawn to this yellow sheet of uh, check or gingham print and uh, I have uh, trimmed it down to about 11 inches I think and uh, distress the edges and I'm sticking it to a sheet of white cardstock and that is going to be my background. Um, so I've just started off um, by doing that, distressing the edges and folding them up a little bit um, and more as well for extra uh, extra distress. Um, and uh, I've got the idea of using some circles on this layout um, and I really wanted to bring in a large um, Pin, not pinwheel, uh, rosette. Um, so I have uh, taken um, some pieces of the Simple Vintage um, Lemon Twist Basics, uh, which are sheets of coordinating paper um, that have very uh, subtle prints on there, almost just like B-sides. So they're like a, that where you can see that one there is a solid yellow and on the back is a different color turquoise. Um, and um, I have a very slight pattern on. Um, so I had to, I cut three strips four inches wide um, and uh, I used two and a half of those in order to make this large circle. Um, so I just scored every quarter inch um, and then concertinaed them, stuck the, the, the strips together where I had, uh, uh, where I had to um, go over the 12 inches. Um, and um, then I've just uh, stuck the two ends together and folded them into a circle squeezed them all into a circle and then I've added a large uh, sorry a small disc to the middle just to glue it down I am planning to cover that up a bit more um, but uh, for now I needed something to hold it in place um, so um, and I'm going to stick it onto the corner of my layout there and I'm going to trim off the overhanging pieces of course and that is going to be um, a placeholder for my photos, although they're not going to sit completely on it. Um, but uh, I love how that's looking. I also love the fact that it's coming off of the um, middle print. Um, so it's uh, flush with the edges of the white layout rather than the yellow part of the layout. Um, and then my photos are going to go around there, kind of. <laughs> um, and um, I'm trying to, I'm going to now cut some more circles. Um, I'm, I'm using some metal dies to do that. Um, and uh, I have also cut some holes in my circles and I've done them off center. So I haven't, uh, I've used my different size dies to create um, a circle with another smaller circle inside. So you can see here, and I'm just layering them up um, on the other ones. So I'm just raising them um, on foam pads and I'm gonna stick them over the top um, to create a kind of peephole almost. Um, and then I'm gonna put things inside those peepholes. Um, so the first one there, I just added a chipboard sticker from the Decorative Brads that says, I think it's from the Decorative Brads, it might actually be from the chipboards um, that says life is good. Um, and then in the other holes, I'm adding the Decorative Brads. I thought I would make a feature of them. I love the Decorative Brads. I love the fact that they're kind of like enamel and shiny and pretty and have different designs on them and different colors. I just, I just love them. I get on with them really well. Um, so I thought I'd make a feature from those. Um, and uh, so I've made quite a few of these little circles. Um, and uh, at, at this point, I've given up with the dies um, beca because uh, my circles needed to be a bit smaller. Um, so I've just grabbed out some circle punches and I can create the same effect um, using the circle punches. So if I've got bigger dies, uh, bigger circles cut already with the dies, um, then I can just punch smaller circles with um, my hole punches. Um, so, okay, so I've got my circles in place and lots of brads, um, and now I'm making another um, rosette. I only, only want to make a half rosette, so I want it to come off of the page on the right-hand side. So I've just cut um, a piece of um, th this pretty paper here, which is turquoise and has lemons on, um, and uh, I've just created... Um, 
a fan there, you can see. Um, it's not going to be a full circle, but I don't need it to be because I want it to come off of the edge. So I'm just going to create a half a circle there. You can see, ouch, I'm gonna burn myself again with my glue <laughs> gun. Um, and uh, I've just stuck it onto a disc and I'll need another one to stick onto the top part as well. But that's gonna sit there on the edge of the layout. So um, I wanted the rosettes to not be the main feature on the layout, but more background elements. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And I kind of was, I really like this kind of arc effect that's going from the bottom left corner up to the top right, although it doesn't go all the way up to the top right corner. Um, so again, I've just stuck that onto the layout um, and uh, I've just trimming off the overhang there. Um, and, um, and again, it's flush with the edge of the white rather than the edge of the yellow. So that just gives kind of a different look. Adding a little disc there um, onto the middle of that um, rosette too. Um, and uh, yeah, that's all looking um, really lovely. I'm really happy with how that is um, coming along. Um, and uh, now I just need to arrange the rest of my uh, circles, really. Um, so uh, yeah, I've got, um, just gonna get those all kind of stuck in place. Uh, see if there's any more brads I want to add. Um, I'm just gonna get my, um, my title in place because quite often, I uh, get to the end of the layout of my title as an afterthought and then I don't have any room for it. So it's good to get it in nice and early. So there we go. It's just going straight across my photos <clears throat> and is um, one of the foam stickers from the uh, foam sticker uh, phrase title pack. So I'm just continuing um, with my hole punches um, to make more of those lovely little circles. Um, I'm really enjoying how these little discs are looking uh, with the different levels, the different layers. Um, so we've got like, for example, uh, the one that I'm doing right now is a um, light yellow kind of vintagey um, color and then it's backed with black and then it's got a little turquoise um, Brad in the middle. So yeah, I just really love it. I love the different layers and the different way that this looks. Um, it's uh, quite a nice technique and it's really easy to achieve um, and it's really quite effective uh, in the way that it looks. So uh, so yeah, a really nice um, little uh, design there. Um, okay, so I'm just adding those um, to my layout. So just done two more there, one with the, the light yellow and then a the turquoise one um, also is that also backed in black, um, but the brad itself, I use a slightly larger size and it actually fills up almost all of the aperture uh, that's been created. So um, yeah, it's just another different kind of look. Um, okay, so I need to embellish the layout now really. I've got all of those uh, little discs in place. Um, so on the left by the photo, I've just added um, some foam uh, floral stickers from the um, foam phrase stickers. Uh, so I've just popped those behind my photo. There's also a spray of chipboard uh, flowers as well. So I'm, I'm putting those behind my photo too. Uh, and then I've just picked out a little yellow um, ephemera flower or sticker, sorry, um, that's uh, just above that black disc there and to the left of my photo. Over on the right hand side, I want to add some label stickers to the uh, second um, pinwheel, uh, or not pinwheel, uh, rosette. Um, so um, I've just pulled some of those from the sticker sheet. Uh, they say squeeze the day, the good life in the sunshine, and they are all different colors. So it was nice to um, have pull out the three different colors uh, and incorporate those into those label stickers. Uh, I've just added um, a sticker tag behind my photo and I'm just tying that through with black and white gingham uh, ribbon and then tying around the ribbon with um, uh, turquoise baker's twine and um, so that just gives a little um, bit of extra interest um, up there uh, so yeah I just got those kind of just extended my photo up a little bit um, and now I've just skipped forward slightly I've added some hearts um, I'm raising those on foam pads so that they have some different dimension um, and just going through the bits and pieces um, and pulling out the bits that I want to use um, on the layout in different embellishments and things um, and uh, I like the butterflies so I just pulled out a couple of butterflies um, I've got some little labels that say things like sweet life um, and uh, some hearts, generic hearts, uh, all raised, like I said, on uh, on foam pads. Um, so I've got this also little layered sticker here that says, um, oh, sunny day. And that works well with my photos because uh, she is um, 
lazing around in the sunshine. Um, so uh, that worked there. So I've just added that over on the right hand side on that rosette as well. Um, I was a bit worried about whether these stickers would stick to the rosette because obviously the surface is very, um, very bumpy and not smooth in the slightest. Um, so I did actually um, use my glue gun to secure some of those bits um, in place. I've got a little chipboard stamp um, there that says uh, five cents juicy um, and the little turquoise butterfly I've just added as well. That's They're, they're both chipboard from the um, chipboard uh, stickers. Um, so uh, yeah, it's all kind of coming together. I'm just making sure that I've got um, my photos are stuck down properly. I've got, they're, everything's on different levels. So I had to actually double up on my phone pads to get the right height um, behind, uh, my, behind my photos. And I'm just gonna finish off with some splatters of white paint. Um, so just got my little paint shaky thing there. I need a new one actually, it's nearly run out. Um, and uh, I'm going to uh, just shake that over some of the areas. I don't wanna go crazy over the whole layout, just uh, in some places. And there we go, there's my layout complete. It is a lovely, sunny, happy layout. I do love this collection so much. I can't tell you how much I love it. Um, it's just everything that I love in a collection. So uh, more of this, please. Um, so uh, yeah, there we go, um, all complete now. Thank you very, very much for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed my layout. That was Nikki Rowland for Simple Stories using Simple Vintage Lemon Twist.